is this year for Detroit Lions, as last year they went 9-8, and eight, and there's optimism that this is make-or-break year for the Detroit Lions, as in the final, from Week 10 to Week 18, Jared Goff threw no interceptions in his final eight games of regular season. And they won, only lost two games in that final stretch. And will this carry over to this year as they play Thursday night against the Kansas City Chiefs, which is primetime game, big game for the Detroit Lions to see if they can be a Super Bowl team. As Jared Goff has a lot of talent around him in Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, and Ross St. Brown, Williams, receiver for Alabama to spend in the first six games. But this team has a lot of talent outside. And this is make or break for Jared Goff also, as if he doesn't make, at least make the playoffs this year, I think he's gone from Detroit. And Dan Campbell will probably be gone if they don't make the playoffs this year. As Dan Campbell has done a lot with this team. As when he got the team, they were horrible. First year there, he they weren't good, but they were a really competitive team. They I think they almost had a... I think they only lost two games by over one touchdown, and they finished three and fourteen, which is amazing for the Detroit Lions. But last year, there was rumors that he would got get fired after a one six start. Luckily, they kept him, and he went on a marvelous run at the end of the year, finished nine and eight. If Seahawks would have lost in the final regular season game to the Rams, they would have made the playoffs, as they did knock Green Bay out of the playoffs with that win in the final week of the season at Rainbow Field. It was like 27 degrees, it must have been freezing, but is this the year for Detroit? I think it is the year for Detroit as they get a lot of good playmakers. Again, they drafted Jimmy Gibbs, but main thing is last year defense wasn't really good. They allowed they just gave too much points. The final two games they did really well, but before that was a struggle as they only have one game they allowed under ten points. So that's the final two games. But they get a lot, a lot of new people in defense. They let Jeff Okuda go. They traded him for a late round pick. Get off of him. He's near a new home in Atlanta. And hopefully, looks like Detroit can have way better defense this year to help them out. As last year, they allowed like four, three, three or four games of over 30 points. But they scored like 30 points that game also. They lost by like three, like 35, 38 week one. But I think Detroit, this is make or break. Super Bowl sounds a little too far, but Detroit this year can be a really good team, a really good playoff team, and Super Bowl's pushing it, but I think they can make the NFC Championship game. But I don't know if they can get past Philadelphia again, but this is the year for Detroit. Make a break. And are they going to be like Cleveland with Kevin, Kevin Stefanski a year before he came in, Freddie Kitchens, the, the one year he was a full-time head coach, they were Super Bowl expectations. They traded for Odell Beckham Jr. And they plummet, finished 6-10, and 10, didn't make playoffs, he got fired. Now, I don't expect the Lions to do this, but Lions and Cleveland are quite close teams, how bad they were. But is this the year? Who knows? Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe. And put in the comments below, I think Detroit, Detroit Lions going to do this year. If they don't do well, what's going to happen in the offseason? If they're going to do well, does Jared Goff get one of the highest paid contracts in the NFL? But we'll see. Hope you all enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe. Peace out.